Citizens, um, there has been no more eloquent testimony made to the case for a living wage, the case for fairness and dignity for all, than the case made by Theas this afternoon, and I want you to thank her for what she said to us and the way she said it. When people say, when people say that politics can't make a difference, when people say that people are apathetic and indifference, when people say that there are no great causes left, let them come to Citizens UK. Let them come here. Our shared belief is that wealth must serve more than the wealthy, that prosperity must serve more than the simply prosperous, that good fortune must help more than those who are just fortunate. And your movement is like every other great movement in history. It is built on moral convictions. First hundreds, then thousands, then hundreds of thousands of people, they say, inequality should not be woven into the fabric of our lives. People of, of compassion and goodwill should never journey without hope. And no injustice should endure forever. And you know, you know what taught me? Do you know what taught me more than any ever, ever book ever taught me? It was a video. It was a video created for the Make Poverty History campaign. And it's a video that strums, sums up for me the strength of a movement. It encompasses the great campaigns of our time. It's a video that shows the abolitionist movement, the civil rights movement, the votes for women movement, the anti-apartheid movement. And every time it shows that movement, it passes by the leaders who sp spoke on the stage and zooms in on the faces of the crowds like the crowd here today. The people who gathered to hear Wilberforce speak about slavery, the men and women on the march to Washington with Martin Luther King. And the point of zooming in on the crowds is that nobody was a spectator, that the people in the crowd, the people whose names are not recorded in the books of history, are the real change makers, the people who made history by being there and demanding change. And that is you. And so, when we saw, when we saw Barack Obama place his hand on that Bible to take the presidential oath on Capitol Hill on that Washington day, we saw not just one man, we saw all who had fought and campaigned to end slavery, to win the boat, to go back to Lincoln and beyond. And we know that for all the great leaders of history, there are millions of other unnamed men and women who are heroes who make our history happen. And you know, from one person, one candle can be lit thousands of candles and then tens of thousands of candles, all lit from that one flame. And think of the change that your movement can create. Once you are, have learned something, nobody can unteach it. You cannot ever again humiliate the person who has got pride. You cannot suppress men and women who are afraid no more. And so it is with Citizens UK. Each of you here will know that your work may not always make the headlines but you can always make the difference. And I know that in your work as community organizers, you share testimony with each other. So please allow me to testify today to what I believe and to tell you who I am. I'm the son of a Church of Scotland minister. He taught me, my father, that life was about more than self-interest, that work is about more than self-advancement, that service is about more than self-service that happiness is about more than what you earn and own. My parents taught me the fundamental values of taking responsibility, doing your duty, being honest, looking out for others, and that is the right way. It is your way and it is my way. And when, and when I was a student, when I was a student, the two causes I worked for most were to force my university to disinvest in apartheid and sell all its shares in South Africa. And I also ran a campaign for decent pay for university cleaners. 
and I cross the years, I feel my life has become full circle because when I became Chancellor of the Exchequer, the first thing I was able to do was to create the minimum wage for the first time in 100 years, justice for the low paid. And the fight continues. And that is why we have said in our manifesto that the minimum wage rises at least in line with earnings. It will reach seven pounds on reasonable assumptions by the end of the Parliament. Because we must lead by example, Labour is pledged to go even further by asking all Whitehall departments to back the campaign that you have led and to which I pay tribute, the campaign for the living wage. And your campaign, and your campaign, has, shown, your campaign has shown something even bigger that a community is more than its buildings, more than its institutions, more than its fabric. A community is thousands of acts of friendship and service and compassion to each other. And you've shown something else, that the public services, your hospitals, your schools, your children's centres on which communities are built are not things that we can just do on our own. They are what we choose to do together. And that's what a good society is about. Building together, investing in good schools, good hospitals, good public buildings, good community centres, and yes, good banks for the future. And we are fighting not just for the minimum wage, but for Sure Start, for free childcare, for tax credits, for the Child Trust Fund. We are fighting to build that on that with more childcare in the next few years, a new toddler tax credit. And we are fighting to defend and extend the Child Tax Credit and the Child Trust Fund to help all parents give their children the best possible start in life. And I tell you this, we will not cut the Child Tax Credit. We will not harm the Child Tax Credit. And we will certainly not propose an inheritance tax cut worth on average £200,000 to the richest 3,000 people in England. And that is a policy unfair. My motto, the motto, the motto of that policy is not God helps those who help themselves, the motto is God helps those whom he has already helped and that is not acceptable to me. Now we are the only party also, we, don't want you we, we, we are the only party also, we are the only party, he'll get his, no, 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 he'll get his, he'll get his, he can, he will get his chance to ask a question. Okay, thank you. Let me also say we are the only party. We are also. Excuse me. We Excuse are me. also the only party backing Can we just restore some order, please? on the most exploitative, high-cost doorstep lending. We will expand the funding of credit unions and other community finance organisations. We will make loans and savings available everywhere through the post office. We will fund this with hundreds of millions of pounds raised through a community finance levy we are putting on the banks. And we will turn the post office into the People's Bank so that no one is more than a few miles away from the banking services at the best rate that people depend upon. And we have a serious plan for better use of land and affordable housing. We will not charge stamp duties on houses below 250,000. We will increase stamp duty, however, on houses over a million pounds. And we have pledged to build 10,000 council homes so that more people can become renters of their own homes. And because community trusts, like you've talked about, enable people to have greater land ownership, we will be backing their extension all the way. I have said... I have said throughout this campaign that the 6th of May is fundamentally about choices. Nations need not be ruled by blind fate. Nations must choose their own history. And so I stand before you, proud that Labour chooses to support the living wage, the interest rate cap, the community land trust and a return to community banking. These are your choices and these are our choices too. And let the word go out, let the word go out as that you fight for fairness, 
you will always find in me a friend, a partner, and a brother. When, it was in when, when Cicero spoke to the crowds in ancient Rome, people turned to each other after hearing the speech and said, great speech. But when Demosthenes spoke to the crowds in ancient, ancient Greece and people turned to each other, they said, let's march. Let's march for justice, dignity, fairness. That's what we've all got to march for, and let's march for it together. Thank you very much. <laughs>